What's good? It's Kevin Cannon, publisher of Making a Magazine, founder of the membership. We live for uh, for another interview. Um, you know, everybody talk about the music industry as a relationship business, but all we ever see is the faces. So what we've been doing, we've been bringing in artists, producers, DJs, and their managers, and a lot of the people who who help support their careers from behind the scene. Today, I'm uh, joined by my homie Michael Montana. We did a, a few different things with him, um, yeah. like from uh, Media Matters event to different shows and stuff like that. Been watching his grind and all the stuff he do. And uh, today, we joined by management for the very first time. Yes, sir. Like, yes, got, sir. got him to come out the back cave. Yes. <laughs> So, uh, introduce, introduce yourself to the people, bro. Uh, well, I don't know what kind of title we want. I'm just going to tell you Chino Dollar, because I done done multiple things within the industry, you know. So, management really ain't the forte, because I do partnership more like with artists. Right. Being that, I like to see them understand that they're a brand and a business, and... It's just easy for me to facilitate the management because I know the management. Right. I save them some money at the same time. So, you know, been a producer, writer, rapper myself. Um, you know, so like with Michael, we got a good partnership where I facilitate the management, but he got a team of people that runs the day. Right. So it, it's not like a triple commission on him the right. way we got our shit structured. So. Okay. And, that, you know, that's interesting that you said that because I've been – been on my rant that like managers need 50 percent like and it's not like about the money it's about a new way of looking at what management is yeah. because management is more a partnership in today's industry it ain't just yeah. i make phone calls send emails yeah. like any artist that i personally would manage i'm gonna be an investor too because yeah. if the difference between you getting a situation or a show is yeah. a few hundred dollars for a plane ticket or yeah. some accommodations why would i not put the money yeah. in and so it's like seeing seeing management more as a partnership. So that was yeah. interesting that you like yeah. boom, you just went straight there out the yeah. gate. Like you been you been on my blog. <laughs> I've been I've been running this system back since two thousand and four. Right. You know everybody looking there say like damn Chino managed Jock this and this and this. Me and Jock had a partnership before we did the deal with Diddy. Right. We already were. Had a partnership. I right. started a label. He became the vice president. Did our little partnership. Did a joint with Block, and the rest was what it was. Same thing with Zoe and everything else. And Michael came. Unfortunately, I was just going to prison. Right. So you know, me and Nitty's situation was good. So it was like, okay, go over here. Mm -hmm. You know, Michael jumped the ball with it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Other, yeah. Other opportunities. That who knows could have might have could have been bigger, might have not. Right. You know we don't know because right. it never happened. But right. uh, you know. So yeah. that's that's an intro. So, all right, since two thousand four, and like I think we first met like two thousand eleven. Yep. Yeah. Right around two thousand eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So oh, he know. So here's the question. This is the question. Like, how did how did y'all relationship start? Like, how do y'all how did y'all know each other? Fuck this music shit. How y'all know each other? Because I feel like it's deeper than the music. It's like. It's yeah, it's how, it's, <laughs> I mean, like, I moved to the South Side right. later on. I yeah. came from the East Side. But right. Him, they lot younger than me. Right. So it's a generation of rappers, then it go to the next generation of rappers, you know, like down the line. And um, he was one who won the next down the line after we done made it. Yep. Now you got my artist that's looking for people to deal with. So Jock. Got with Michael because it was like the next generation. Yep, right. And that's how we all got connected because, yep. like me and Nitty was this generation. Yep. Now you got Jock, now you got Michael now. So yep. it was like, he yep. next. Yep. He yep. next. You know, so yep. that's how stuff come into play that a lot of people don't be saying. It's like who you know, who you cool with, who right. your right. friend is, who you. And right. that's how you say with relationships. Right. And then, you know, that's one of the things that like, we talk about when, um, like, I think people outside of Atlanta, you see the memes, how Atlanta rappers is, like how everybody working together and stuff like that, that you don't get that in the other markets. Just the way that you explain that is like, I'm now, who's up next? Like, mm -hmm. from one generation to the next, not looking at it as a generation, a lot of times two people to be caught up on trying to stay on past their time. Yeah. Like, like 
with what was it about Michael and and what he had going on at that time that made y'all see that see that yo he's next and like what like as far as what he was doing working what records what what was going on with him that really caught your attention initially that was Jock. Mm -hmm. He got to explain to you yeah. about him because yeah, 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 yeah. he went yeah. like he said he went to prison. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, 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 exactly. Like, like instantly, like you know, what I'm saying I was talking yeah. on the phone with him. Like okay, you know what I'm saying? You over there with Nitty, but I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to the first conversation where you right. say okay. He was telling me he was like okay, Chino, you know what I'm saying? I was working with Chino, and you know Chino had to turn himself in or whatever. So every day I'm with Jock. You know what I'm saying? Right. And Jock just because Jock was just like a big brother. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. If he if he came and you seen that truck come down and he grabbed you, you you with him and we going to the studio, you finna be that bitch all day. You might be chilling, you finna be working. Jock just I felt like I was in um growing up boot camp being around them. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because like I learned how to understand what's the streets and what's in what industry it was. Like this right. we talking about Jock, like around the time his man was like, oh, I think he was triple busy. Like, oh I think he was like two that's just how I got sent to Nitty. Right. Get what I'm saying? I felt like I was in a, a boot camp brotherhood. Like I went from, okay, Chino, Big Bro, then I came from uh, Chop, then he go Nitty. Like, right. But by the time I got to Nitty, I was suited. Right. And that, uh, for that journey, you get what right. I'm saying? So I felt like me being hungry and being from the South Side and just, you know what I'm saying? Just the, 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 the just being in, being in them places and in the right places for the right people to see me. You know what I'm right. saying? And, and I, no, job came in. Okay. It was definitely some some yeah. industry type of situation I don't go right. to in. Yeah. You know what I'm nah, saying? Nah. But, but see, and here's the thing, like, it ain't no separation in that shit because it's all relationships. It's all characters. Like, a lot of, like, you can't mix the streets with the industry shit. All right. But your character, your character. Sure. Yes, sir. You feel me? Yes, sir. Like, someone who ain't solid in the streets ain't solid, period. Period. All the way around. Like, someone who ain't solid in business ain't solid. At all. Period. And so, like, it's like being around. That's why I wanted to kind of more so focus on the relationships. A lot of times, you know, do these interviews. It's like, oh, what's new? What's coming out? What's mm -hmm. doing And you don't get to know the person. You don't get to know the character. You don't get to know the situations that 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 created what you see. Right. And so, like, so, all right, so from Chino put you in contact with Jock. Jock, you in the studio with him. Mm -hmm. Jock got him. A bunch of stuff going on, things going crazy for him. Plug you in with Nitty, now you're mm -hmm. over there with Nitty, the whole situation. And like, what, what, what do you feel like at that time? What was your expectations? Because I think a lot of times when you, when you, when you up and back, mm -hmm. you just know you're about to hit a home run. Yes. You just know everything, yes. like, it's like you're playing out in your, in your head. Like, what are your expectations? And then the difference between your expectations and the reality of whether things were more difficult or like more work involved. What were some of the yeah, differences? It was, it was more business. Like it was more like because I learned all the love and all the you know what I'm saying. Learn how to record. Learn how to. I, I got all that just by being around. Learn how to walk, talk, dress. I, I, I cleaned up myself, so by the time I got to him, I didn't understand the business part. But they were, he was telling it to me all the time. I don't think I was paying attention to him right. when, when they was talking because, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm young, bro. So it's like, he hit I'm like, yeah, yeah, but we walking into the cheetahs. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> 20 years old. Like, well, don't talk to me about publishing the cheetahs. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, you got to think everybody got their lane. Yeah. Jock himself is a, was an artist. Yeah. Right. Yes. So, him having folks on business was not either like. Right. Right. Neither the producer. Right. Having to focus on running the label was his lane. Right. You know, he makes some great beats. Trying to put out an artist, it might not be as strong as so. Right. Same thing with Jack. Might have been strong too because they got to focus on their craft. Right. My mm -hmm. thing was putting out art. Right. I can make a beat. I can write a song, but that wasn't my focus. Mine was giving the attention to the artist to connect the dots. While they be great at what they doing, I'm gonna be great at this. And sometimes when you take that away, it leaves stuff, you know. And 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 a lot of times people recognize where their strong suits are and where they. That's why Jock was getting with P. Right. Then. Mm -hmm. You know, because P was a great businessman. Well, we see now, QC, yeah. we see how he's moving. Mm -hmm. So Michael would have been in that situation mm -hmm. with somebody that's aligned how I moved to where he could have opened a couple more doors. Not saying Nitty couldn't or Jock couldn't. It's just they got to balance with a great. Yeah. Where P could balance on 
focus on the business. Yep. Yeah. You know, and that's what we're kind of missing along with Michael Kane was who gonna focus on the business. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And and that and that mm-hmm. go back to like I guess a lot of times people misconception of, of, of the business like you can't you can't produce it and sell it like okay. it's like because you like why you producing and you ain't selling and why you selling you ain't producing You're damn right and so it, understanding that everybody has their roles to play and so like when it comes to y'all and how y'all functioning now like what do you feel like? Are the things that you can rely on him and like it, when that when you, when you hit that wall, hit that question, hit whatever it is, you're like yo, first person like yo, talk to him about that, or you like immediately pick up the phone, bro. This sound right? Like what is what are some of those things for you? Everything. <laughs> yeah, I, I thought it was a trick question. <laughs> Not everything, but because yeah. I think I think he had taught me and uh, uh, well along with everybody that was. Came inside my life, you know what I'm saying? But I've been around them, so it's like, along with like my other people, you know what I'm saying? Granddaddy Southside, I'm, yeah. I'm around structured men, you know right. what I'm saying? So if I, I got the phone, him, Kyle, and Granddaddy, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and both of them going to say this, one going to say that, and I'm going to say this, then they're going to say that, but I'm going to call them back, all right, better what we're doing. And I don't even, I don't even move nothing, bro, until I talk to one of them. Like, they don't call me back, I just sit. Right. Just because I need to, even I'm talking about, bro. It might go from, hey, bro. So, if untouched, don't end with did like, okay, let's fix, and it might turn into a whole hour. We on the phone, right? Because I'm trying to really, okay, you said it like this, bro. So fully explaining because they might ask me this. I say that because from my past history, from where Jock told me, like, hey, bro, they actually did say this. If they actually did say, I have, to, I, have to, I have to take it to my lawyer. You have the right to say that. So right. now when I talk, I be like, no, nah, let me holler my, let me holler my people. Let me, I'm gonna call you right back. Oh, I'm, and I'm not afraid to send you no number. I'm not afraid to send nobody to granddaddy away. Like I'm not afraid. I usually I be like, oh yeah, man, shit, bro, we might can do it for um, yeah, four hundred. Right. Get there a thousand people there. Yeah. I'm like, damn. <laughs> I just cheated myself forward. She don't like nigga. I could have got you five thousand. Right. Feel what I'm saying? So and uh, you know what? That that opened up a great door for like. What did it take for you to get to that point? Because you know, when, when we're young, you know, you it's like you wanna kind of wanna prove that you know shit. You mm-hmm. wanna be like, mm-hmm. and so it's uh, it's hard to delegate or seek counsel, right? Because you like you don't want to seem like you don't know, especially, especially as a man. When you don't know as a man. Like that's a that's a double, you know, because you already know that you don't you know, know, and then you don't want to look like you a don't lot know. of it is coming to understand. Like I tell them all the time, hey, like, you're a business mm-hmm. before. Any other thing, I understand you are, you are a human, a person, right? Right. But at the same time, you are the business. You got to treat yourself as a business. You don't want to make no bad business move. Like, you don't want to, your value, you, your stock worth $100 a share. <laughs> but just because somebody got $3 a share and want to spend it now, you going to sell it to them? Right. Nah, wait. Right. But- Right, right. Know your value. Right. Operate. You can't do everything yourself. Right. You know, and that's where a lot of artists don't be understanding that they be wanting to do every goddamn thing. It be like, hey, you can't do it all. And then some of them, like you said earlier, they want to do all this right instead of focusing on their craft. Like one thing about Michael, what I look for, people call a lot of time about management, right? Right. But you had to ask me. Nigga, what you got to manage? Right. What am I gonna manage? Say if I, yeah, I wanna manage it. But what am I gonna manage? You making any money? Right. You got any, what am I doing you got any merch to sell? <laughs> yeah, what's your calendar? <laughs> I'm booking you. You got a new single that you out working that's picking up, right. or streaming. Uh, can uh, people looking at you for endorsement deals? Like what? I, I'm gonna make some motherfucking money. Right. And a lot of them don't. The thing that, I like about Michael and Jockey, they gonna go out there and create some shit. It might not be put together, right? But they'll bring it and be like, "Hey, I got these people want to do this. Right. I can figure out the rest." But that's but that's what management is for. You know what I'm saying? Like put that, that together shit. and bring it over here. And I'm gonna figure it out. You know, that's a that really very valid and very important point because too that many people shit. think that management is supposed to create the opportunity. Oh, yeah, I ain't going to not create, I ain't going the create opportunity, shit. not perfect the opportunity. <laughs> I ain't, yeah. not Extend out, just post the building from the ground up. Yeah, dude. dang my job. <laughs> yeah, 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 quick, yeah, yeah, I ain't yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Nah. Right. So, so you know, here's a, here's a, here's a question for you. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. All right, cool. All right. So, um, so here's a here's a here's the thing that I'm a, um I'm gonna I'm reverse that question mm -hmm. because you know, like you see counsel mm -hmm. now. On the inverse, because you know the artist as a creative, you got your way that you think, and it, like it always, it don't ninety percent of the time it don't make business sense, right? <laughs> but there's that ten percent. Like, what's it? What's an example of that ten percent where you was like, I don't know about that, but it was like, you know what? That ain't a bad idea, or we can make that play work. I can give you an example. Just <laughs> the other week we had to show out of town. <laughs> yeah, no cap, and. Just when it came down to the song line of how he wanted to do the show, I seen it when it didn't make sense. Uh, how you want to damn near rap the whole song a cappella. Right. And then get to the end of it and then bring the beat back in. Right. <laughs> like, I get where you're trying to go. Right. How about you try it this way? Just do this, but instead of bringing the beat in where you at in the song so the DJ can try to keep up to where you at and drop the beat. Yep. Yeah. Just rap a little bit and then say, hit that shit mm -hmm. and bring the song from the beginning. That right. motherfucker wait. Like, oh, yeah, you gotta see the ideal. Right. Right. And then try to figure out how to do it. Even when it comes down to travel sometimes, you know, <laughs> artists want to travel deep. Right. Right. And they'll go out their way and uh, spend a whole bunch of money just so their friends can go, right? Right. But economically, it don't make sense. The main focus is to get uh, get the bag and get up out of that stuff. Yep. 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 Take your working components. Yep. Go come get the money and get gone. Like little stuff like that. You really have to stay on top of them because you got to think they want the picture to be big. And a lot of time with the picture being big, it don't make a lot of sense. And them be some of the things you have to watch. Like, it's true. I want to yeah. go do this. But why you want to do this? Right. Man, I say so much money that night, though. I, I, I was trying to go get a towel. Right. Man, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm lit right now. I want the game. We're going to drive a whole nother hour to get the towel. Child. Yes, bro. Got to drive back from getting the towel. I got to pay for it. Right. But well, we're going to drive to Athens for this towel. Yeah. All the car went to Houston. We're going to drive to Athens. I'm like, man, Chino, I'm on the phone with him. I'm on the phone on the way to him. I'm well, like, he man, already bro. already got a car. Yeah. Said, Why are you going to? Thank you. Yep. Yeah. He, said, he said, bro, all right, let me ask you something. If you... You trying to get the flights? The flights went almost to a thousand. That didn't make sense. All right, cool. You you in a Toyota Corolla? You gonna, you gonna fill up thirty dollars? But I better spend when you get there. They gonna pick us up in a Sprinter. We yes. riding in a Sprinter all the time. The, I ain't even got my real hotel room yet. The Sprinter was there at the hotel room. I ain't even get a chance to go. I like, oh, thank you, boss. And when I got there, I was straight. You know what I'm saying? Like it was a great crowd. I didn't need no security. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I wasn't even tripping that we needed because I be tripping about protection, but. It was so much fun there. It was like, bro, the one I'm thankful that he be there, bro. He out and he able now can run with me. Now I ain't got to make no dumb choices. Like now, like he's running with me. Like this right. ain't cause every day you check my Instagram. He's active. Check my Instagram. He's active. Like it ain't just oh, like you see a lot of. <clears throat> I see a lot of managers. I want to say managers. I see a lot of people that come, people that come in and artists' life that believe in them and want to manage what they have going on. But their management don't really be there for the artist for real. It'd be like, man, I'm really trying to uh, get this artist because he might be lit or he's begging me to put money in it. And I'm, I'm, now I'm digging into it because I see everybody else fucking with the music. Now I want to figure out how I can get some out of them. Right. And he don't really want to do it no more. He love to smoke weed. He crashed. Now he burnt out. Now y'all don't ain't nothing. Right. That ain't it. Once I tell him, like, hey, bro, he got out. He ain't. He ain't going back. Okay, cool. Hey, bro, I can't go back eating bad food, bro. I got to do this. I got to do this. So he, 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 it's a lot. So I get what you're saying, 50% management. You know what I'm right. saying? But it's a partnership now. And it's like, because when you throw that management shit, it's like a label. And no, no disrespect to anybody if that's, your, if that's your label. Right. But, but please have somebody that's in your corner, bro, that is like a musician with this shit. Like, because if you, if you get on the phone with your manager, bro, and, and your manager can get on the phone with your lawyer, then you get on the phone with your lawyer, then your lawyer get on the phone, like, and get on the phone with somebody else and clear your shit up. Right. I, I don't, ain't nothing to talk about. Like, I want to keep that line of connection, because guess what? Chino go right, I'm going left. He he go to August, I'm in North Carolina. I promise you we'll have videos of the same shit we be doing. Promoting the record, shaking hands, laughing and playing. We back on the road, coming back home. You know what I'm right. saying? We every Sunday and Monday, bro, we on the phone or we in person. 
Pull this board. It sounded like y'all in a really good place. Mm-hmm. But I want to talk about because there was a point in time where it wasn't always good. Like there's, I know because this is how it is with artists and management. Like mm-hmm. it's been a morning when you wake up and I'm like, man, fuck this shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, but to be honest, and so when, a, when an artist, when a, when you talking about an artist perspective, want to give up? Like even like you know how where y'all bump heads, mm-hmm. like because because the relation, like I, I'll say this, mm-hmm. you, so so you make it clear, like. The, rela- the strength of the relationship is tested when there's trials. Where when y'all have a disagreement about the tie hole or b- about the doing this mm-hmm. show, and okay. y'all bump heads like, bro, you was supposed to hit me up about that, and you didn't hit like this nigga mm-hmm. hit but, me up with the. But, but see, the thing about that is that's called you got to put your the, the business on the table. Right. Everybody gonna have a different perspective, and I gotta be able to listen to what he's saying. He gotta listen to what I'm saying. Because the first thing that you gotta understand is whatever he say is meant in a good way. Whatever I say is meant in a positive way. It ain't no disrespect than me not agreeing with you or him not agreeing with me. Ain't no disrespect because ain't no yes man. Right. It's about let me see what the hell you talking about. Yep. Now okay, I see what you saying. Let me, mm-hmm. what you think about what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Because that's the only way you are gonna get the the perfect play. Yeah, because my way ain't gonna always be right. I'm not gonna have the right. Mm-hmm. He ain't gonna have the right. Mm-hmm. It might be somebody outside of us. You might say something and make a lot of sense. Yeah, you yeah. Like, God damn, man. Tell us low long. That made sense. You just made the shit. That's what how we need to make it work. Yep. You gotta understand. You ain't always right. Yep. Right. I don't think we. Nah, I promise you. Like we ain't yeah, never you know, like. No, but that's that's a new like. So it's a real relationship. Like, and that's what I was about to say. Like, point out like because when you like. Cause it's more of a personal relationship, like, yeah, like yeah. then it's like the business is there, but it's more of a personal relationship. And so I think that that's kind of the issue. A lot of times people have these business relationships, so there's a, a try to avoid the conflict because it ain't no real yeah, well, personal relationship where we can disagree and still respect mm-hmm. each other. And see like said, you were respect, and you gotta live, go through some things, right, for a person to show their character. Right? Yeah, bro. Like. From young, he done been through stuff in the game that, that showed him how people operate. I done been through things, right? So, the way I've been able to last, and I don't have a problem with artists, for one, I ain't gonna steal from you. Right. I don't, I ain't gonna fuck you out of that and cross you out to get something over here, right? And once an artist see that, okay, that's how he operates, I can voice my opinion. He not gonna get mad and fuck me over out of this and that. Mm-hmm. I done mm-hmm. been through all that with artists. Right. You got people who ain't gonna let, you know, nobody else deal with their stuff, their personal stuff. You take producer Black Edwards, you know, done what? Ego for Beyonce got a Grammy, Usher, Nicky, Lil Freak. We doing the movie. He calls me to go over everything he does because mm-hmm. I ain't gonna tell him nothing wrong. If it's, right. a, if it's a dumb deal, it's just a dumb deal, bro. You can get yep. mad at me or whatever, but you know I mean it from a good place. Yeah. He want to make sure his shit right from somebody that ain't trying to cap like Michael was saying, a man to come in or I can eat out for him mm-hmm. right quick. Right. Like I tell him all the mile time, I can walk away from all y'all that you <laughs> damn love y'all, because what I do for a living is remodel, renovate houses. Right. In my trucking company. That's, I do this shit because I love it. Like, right. It's a passion. But as far as getting the money, I, my other shit make my money. Right. This is because I don't want to see anybody else fuck y'all up. Mm-hmm. Right. All of them have mm-hmm. fucked before. You know, that's a a very interesting thing. And it's like, I'm glad that you brought that up. Is like from a financial side of it. Like, because it's like a lot of artists, like when they're coming up, they don't want to have a job or like everybody wants to put on this front. Like, I don't do anything. Like, this is all I do. And put themselves in a position where they can't even do good business because... Like, they tried to you, beat them up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Just need more for a tip. Every, bro, back from back, right? I know the artist that didn't work. I know the one that did work. Let me tell you, nigga, Jock worked at Ruby Tuesday. It's going down with playing on the motherfucking radio. Mm-hmm. I pick him up from work. The Cadillac broke down. He jumped, come in. The motherfucker don't believe that me on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> I said, just wait one minute. <laughs> well, you can quit that motherfucker. They get that check. Uh, yeah. Zoe worked down at the funk shop, right? Yeah. Hell, Rick funk shop. Yeah. 
<laughs> till hood nigga took off. Right. Like, you got to understand, man, you got to keep some food on the table Dang. if you ain't got no little hustle that you playing in the street that ain't going to get your life in there. Right. But you, you got to put that pride to the side. Yeah. You got to, listen, man. Got you, to. You can't be Pablo Escobar and, <laughs> and for real, for real, can't pay your light bill. Yeah. Or help your mama with the light bill or whatever. You got to figure out something. But you know, that, and that goes to, I guess, the like one of the conversations that always goes on like with these deals. Like you, you It's all over Twitter. Everybody got it grievances on Twitter's about the deals that they sign and stuff like that. And it's like, and I guess part of that, from my perspective, and I want to get y'all thoughts on this, is like the person that you are when you sign a deal ain't the person that you are after you sign a deal. Like once you get a little money, once you get a little emotion, especially like when you're in a situation where like you ain't sure how you're going to pay the light bill, you ain't sure how you like, yo, that, that 20000 look like 200000 This is what I tell artists. And and I ain't really for real. Too many artists around me complain about their deal. Mm -hmm. Cause the first thing I tell you, let's make sure they motherfucker right. And read it. It's fair. You understanding what they saying. You gotta live with your choice. Right. So if you giving up fifty percent of your publishing now, right? Cause you wanna close the deal. Be happy with that decision when this bitch done done. Uh, 10 million and then went diamond or whatever. Mm -hmm. Still be happy with what you giving up to get that. Right. If you can live with that then, if you can see yourself, because you still going to be rich. You can't complain about, I gave up X, Y, and Z. I can be more rich. Yeah. <laughs> rich, you know what I'm saying? You eat now, so don't even if, live with it. because. Right. But a lot of them be like, wait, well, damn, forget well, what? That person who put you in that position had to eat too. Yeah, sure. You don't know what they had to spend or what they had to do and what they had to get it to that point. So if, if giving up 50% is something you can't live with, don't do it. Now, get what? If it don't take off, they the one that took the goddamn L. Mm -hmm. They took the same L you did. They lost their time, which is the more valuable shit they can't get back. Right. They money they probably can get back because they had the money to give you. Obviously, that ain't too much. Yeah, they make money. Like, yeah. But they time is the same thing that you put up, that they put up, and they can't get back. They don't want to the L because your shit didn't work. Yeah. So if it worked, they deserve to win with your ass. Yeah. Yep. Just limit if you're going to look at that point. Instead of doing six albums, say, well, hell, I do three. Right. And, and that, I guess that goes to the importance of like the the leverage that you walk into the situation with. Do you think you would complain about your first deal? <laughs> Got to take it how it comes. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> just be honest, because yeah. because if I would have just stayed, like, see, Jock and Chino the same way, bro. Like, I ain't say like don't don't get it mistaken what I was saying, but I'm like, okay, let's let's put a business thinking. Right. Jock is hold, hold, hold. Every conversation, like, hold, come get this there, bro. Come come get the car. Cause just come on. And I come get it or come get whatever I can get. You know what I'm whatever he's giving me or whatever I'm asking him or whatever. They ain't giving right. me financial. It could be business. Whatever I'm asking him, come get it. So when the midst I had got into a problem, I'm like, bro, I, uh, one of them, man, fuck that shit. Right. I met up with somebody else. Right. Today. Woo woo. Yeah, I heard, nigga. Mm -hmm. Jock, yeah, I heard. Come to the studio. Come mm -hmm. and tell you how to do it when you go meet with the people. Yeah. All right. Because he still know him. And right. he had nothing negative to say. You know what I'm saying? It was nothing, nothing negative. I just knew, like, bro, you know how you get to a point? I ain't going to keep calling you, bro. I'm not going to keep You got that. You're in the hole. I'm not going to keep calling you, bro. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these niggas, he got them. But I'm not calling you, bro. Right. He was like, all right, they're cool. See what? He, he wasn't no, no. Because he was finna go. He, he was waiting on. P to get it, you know what I'm saying? They were doing what they were doing, so I could have really like just chill, like how I'm doing now, like just coasting, wait, find something to do, you know what I'm saying? Go keep working, you know what I'm saying? Find, you know, just what I would know now. But part of that is you. Feel me? Yeah. So I understood that, like, yeah. nah, I had a real good, real great deal, like, right. I had the best, best deal before any of them niggas, anybody got a single deal. For like, shout out to Cash Out, me and him got the same deal at the same time. Like, when I went that way, he went with Big D and him. Right. We both, he was in that building 
I was in the universal in that building. Yeah. Like, get inside. Like, but everything was cool with that until I did the second part. Because right. the second part, she know about to get ready to get out, P about to get ready to run, everything. And when I signed that contract, you know what I'm saying, that would put me in another blender, like, oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's the return, like, you know how they say like you got your contract, but he go to back, like, I forgot how it costs a turn, but um, it's a reverse in that motherfucker where now like the extension. For the right of refusal on the deal anyway. Yeah, we need uh, the money. Like it started again like that, cause I, I started arguing with the label and shit. So if the money that was spent wasn't getting put back, but the song was so big that was still getting it back. But right. it, 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 it didn't we cut the even. It wasn't no bad blow. You could see Michael Montana will release from Universal Republic. We will resign in 2016. Like, I was on management. I wasn't on job. I was I had they was with me. Like them job knew the people. I was just in a rush. You get what I'm saying? Right. I was young it was shit. It was real. Like, I ain't had no complaints yeah, about it. Think about it, niggas will get it done like that. Hell yeah, he got it. Yeah. So like, it's like you say the the the, the money sitting here over here, you gotta wait for a minute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you gonna wait and see what this is, or you gonna make this happen? Yeah, it was like, M. You know, no let problem. me see how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, know, you say that. I did it now. But if you, if you, if in hindsight, you know, we can see 2020, yeah. and you would have waited, because now you see well. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but at the time, you didn't it's know. It's so what easy to do yeah. that, though. It's so know, easy to look back. Yeah. Yeah, you, you didn't know. Because at the end of the day, Pete wasn't doing music. Like no. There was me. People don't know me and Buck, which is Pete's brother. Right. Was Buck had Zoda. Okay. Buck was taking Zoda Acon at the time. That's how where Zoda would end up at. But by us being on that block, it was easy to, to do. Too bad, boy. But P wasn't doing music like that. Mm-hmm. Buck was the one doing music. And then Ken, Ken Tate sold Peter, money making records, sold Peter studio equipment and shit. You know, P got to work in the movie. But Buck was the one doing music. Mm-hmm. You know? So it was like a gamble gonna be with P anyway. Right. Like, cause he's new to it. Like, like yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, but, it's fresh. Like I said, he was a bending man. So. Right. Wow, him and Coach. Because you got no coach in the game. Yeah. And not. It makes it work. Yeah. But you take somebody like him and need some money today. <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 but it fucked up shit. On the, he don't know, but it fucked up. Right, yeah. fucked up relationships. Oh, no, on the other, on the other yeah. side. Right. Yeah. You know, and it be like. my that. decision. Like, you right. know, and, and then nobody look at it bad, but it was like, damn. I mean, you know, I think, like, the most important thing, like, what you just said, fucked up, like, kind of relationships, your decision, like, just the ownership, like, as this whole conversation is about being a man, just being straight up. We, like, the industry would be so much simpler if we could all be yeah. men. If we could, like, like how you said, like, we ain't came to no real strong heads where we feel like, because you feel free to say whatever, this is what I feel, and this is what I think, and I don't agree with you because this is what I think. And you can listen to that as a man, and it don't change the way you feel about your plan, and y'all come to terms and figure it out. Like, when you can make a play, and you can look back and see, oh, I fucked that up, I shouldn't have did that, and just as a man, see that so that it it informs how you move going in the future. And so, like, that's the strength of, like, when when we have these conversations, the strength of the relationship for individuals to grow together right, and i think it. like this is this the, the the level like the way that i see how y'all interact and how y'all work together like you don't get that without a real personal relationship yeah. and a mutual it's no stuff that he's working on like for sure hard right so, you know one of them the rack is out now moving it's growing mm-hmm. right but like i told him okay you really gonna push the shit growing now we got to set you up Right. Keep it rolling. Each one of my artists got their own distribution. Ain't none of their distribution going straight to me. Right. He got his own. Jock got his own when he feel like dropping moving with most of this stuff. People don't know it's going TV placement. Devante got his. Got an R&B artist, Melante, uh, Melani. Everybody has their own. I'm talking about their account set up. Right. I'm just partnering with them on their account. So you could drop your shit if you want to. You can hit that button and promote your video. You can distribute your video to Vivo and Apple Music and everything on your own. 
You can dump the marketing dollars into a TikTok campaign. You see your streaming. You do it. You got your dashboard. No God. All I need to do is, you got a question, I log in, look, oh yeah, okay, well you're doing good on that, yeah, so we need to put a few more dollars over this. Mm -hmm. But everybody has their own platform. That way, you got to take, you know what's going on with your business. Right. And I think that's what now a lot of artists need to be understanding is you a business. And if you can't Tune in to what's going on with your business. So when one of these majors come at you and they talking to you about your numbers, and you can look and say, "Shit, I'm, I know I'm streaming like this on <laughs> <Right>. you. <laughs> I know, I know what my numbers is. I know my analytics. I know. You look at that shit. I can't make you look at it. I'm gonna know it because mm -hmm. I'm gonna be tuning in to it. So I know it. But if I'm talking to you about it, I need you to know it too. Right. Now it definitely changes the conversation. And that, and it's like so when I tell you, right? Yeah, so when I tell you, how to be a man. when we when we yeah. when we read these BDS reports and you see where you spending it, what markets you in, and you know, and them people come and want to do a pull up deal, when we sitting there talking to them, you need to know it. I ain't taking the short end. Right. I know what's going on, but you need to know that I know what the fuck I'm talking about. Yeah, type. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cause no, for real. Right. Because he could be talking for you. You know what I'm saying? And then the artist can be sent back weird. What the fuck you just say? Right. right now, that's how you go in, he go in there. I don't talk. Mm -hmm. you, you got to be a brisk. Of I ain't going to kick your leg. I ain't got to do shit. Because mm -hmm. he's going to know. Because we done roll. No music playing for an hour. Sit in the car. We early on time and everything. We sit in the car and talk. We be doing whatever we got to do. Hey, bro. I'm not going here. You know what I'm saying? It's just about being like... Like, iron sharp and iron, bro. How you supposed to be, man? Like, you ain't really, like, supposed to be wild with your words. Like, connect your brain with your tongue, bro. Understand, like, whatever you let, whatever you think, and that shit fly at your mouth, bro. That shit can be good or it can be bad, bro. So, if you don't know what to say, bro, you're not connected. Whoever connected this in your circle, bro, let them speak. If not, bro, just say, can we figure out something else? And hopefully you get around, go on YouTube, ask how to do interview, nigga. Start taking yourself through media training through yourself. Like, if you, because if you get into a business, bro, if this business, bro, think of multiple business, bro. Just just instantly think of that. And I've been thinking, I've been, I've been, I've been like that of my second win. And I, I said, it's my second win because... I got my same people that been with me, gang. They now weeds, no tired or nothing. Everybody is like, okay, I ain't got it. Like, boom, just what we doing. Right. Everybody is in corners in that position, Michael. If you go out this motherfucker position, bro, you're going to flag the whole crew down. Bro. And then that's when he, that probably did be another one. He might, that, that's going to be a hot situation. You got a little one. Granddaddy going to be a hot yeah. situation. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be She's hot. Like the stuff they put together, I don't even chime in on. Right. Because you got motherfuckers like Granddad that know how to move. Right. That's know how to move around. It ain't like, I got to tell you, man, you need to move X, Y, and Z way when you go here. Nah, because you got somebody with him already know how to move. Mm -hmm. Somebody that I look at and say, hey, man, what the fuck going on? I'm going to ask him about moving <laughs> yeah, yeah. in certain. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 Worry about that part. I don't want China on a party. You want to play? Now. I don't need to. Okay, yep. when is it put together? Okay, now let's do this. This person, this person, this person, the rest of the piece. And I think and he clean up. You don't have to, cause I ain't got the time to want to plan every boom, 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 boom. And I think that's what a lot of artists be looking for. Like I said, somebody to come and got to do every goddamn thing. Nah, you know what? I'm gonna I'm reverse that though. So I'm gonna ask you this, like, cause we having this conversation, and I think speaking a lot to Michael, his second win, that second win comes from maturity. Yes, sir. Right, but then also, like where we are right now, like even how you talk about all of your artists have their own dashboard, your own, you you build putting them in place. You are a business, like previously, like in generations before, it was like I'm the man. Everything got to run through me. And the way that the industry changed, do you feel like that that change in the industry also kind of informed how you see things now to empower other people? Well, the industry changing definitely made it more feasible to operate like this now. Mm -hmm. You got to think before it was 
I'm the label. You got to sign the artist and be responsible for all of them. Because mm -hmm. that's how you got your money. Right. You know, um, you take it. What people don't know is the deal came with Zoe was the first artist off of Black Entertainment, like far as the distribution, having a label deal. Right. Zoe was the first artist. Boys in the Hood was Bad Boy South. Yeah. Jock was Bad Boy. Right. You know, they had artist deals. We did. Then Zoe was the first artist as a label deal, but you had to run them through the system. Like my company, Mastermind Music was a production company. So we signed artists just like a label, right. but Block had the label. So the distribution would be through Black and Um That's how things were structured back then. Now, with the changing of the music industry, you got shit like Distro Kid, TuneCore, anybody can go and upload it. Um, it made it easier for shit, you can set up your own shit. Mm -hmm. You can, but now you got to just know how to facilitate the other shit that go with it. And that's where it comes into play. It's easy to set up a dad, but now how do you know how to get on these playlists? Got to run running the YouTube ads, your TikTok campaigns. Like, that's what we about to start off on Michael with is his whole rollout once. We ain't even got the contract signed with the distributor yet. And they drafting it up now for, it, mm -hmm. for him to have his own, like I say, dashboard with the company that we deal with. So we can facilitate him as his own business. Fire crash. You know, so the industry changed and did. Because before, yeah, you had to be the label like No Limit and you had to run all these artists and that's where the big money was. And what I learned though, when I don't do that, you can't cross collateralize Michael with cardboard soldier man. Mm -hmm. Michael do good and he flopped. You can't take my money for Michael to pay for him. Yeah. Now nah, we ain't doing that. So I'm going to separate everybody. Michael flop, he flop. Right. You're only getting the money. <laughs> you yeah, so cross yeah. my shit. Look. Yeah. Look. Yeah. 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 yeah, you're not doing that. And that's the beauty of the industry change. Yeah. Because you got to think about it. Everybody be complaining about 360. But get what? We've been doing 360. Yeah. Independent labels. I've been taking a piece of your merch. Your publishing. Your show. Your like account. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I put everything I hate up. It when they started, yeah, I hate it when they started doing it. Yeah. Because now you cutting into my pocket. Yeah. That shit, you shit for you. Yeah. You want to just say that? Ain't that new? 360 they, been around. They had the dashboard. Yeah, that was it. Like, they had the dashboard. Yes. <laughs> they just gave us a game and they tired of being at the label room. So. That's it. Now sure. they just physical have them stop selling. They got to make up for that money. Now they want a piece of the show money. Now they want a piece of the merchandise. God damn. Yeah. But we've been doing it. It ain't nothing new. Anybody, any artist that was under a, like, uh, what, what we call it? Uh, uh, the indie label? Indie label. Yeah, that had production company. company. Yeah. yeah. Nigga, you was already getting hit at 360. Maybe yeah. you weren't taking none of your show money unless, yeah. you, unless you was under management too. But everything else, getting a piece of it. I'll tell you what it was. Mm -hmm. And then when you, CD stopped selling and they came in and intruded, you know, and you ended later and had to change their format now. Right. So. And it's, it's, just, it's just a constant evolution. Like, yeah. and, and, you know, from what we've been talking about with relationships, like how the evolution of your relationship and how it informs how you move the evolution of the industry as a whole. Like with with the new distribution mm -hmm. and the, even the way that the labels are structuring their deals that, you know, it trickles down to the way that independence, right. you know, how y'all have to function. Right. So like, you know, before we wrap up, like, where do you see things going and what are you looking forward to? What like things that y'all seeing, you know, we had these conversations in the in the, in the in the studio on Clubhouse on Twitter, like it's like things seeing things that you see coming down the pipeline that got you excited. Like, please don't say NFTs. <laughs> my, 
but part, part of mine is it's not so much the NFT, but it is dealing in the metaverse. Okay. You know, yeah, we definitely right there. Okay. You know, and it, and it's not so much of what a lot of people think like NFTs in the metaverse. Yeah, that's cool. I'm looking at the branding, or I, how can I say the ad revenue mm -hmm. that can be generated within the metaverse. Mm -hmm. You know, you can take companies, and if I got a studio in the metaverse, they can charge you ad revenue to have a wall or advertise in the studio. Got Michael doing a show in the metaverse, mm -hmm. and we need sponsorship dollars in the metaverse. Yeah. Like I'm looking at the, it's not so much NFTs. It's just like how many kids hooked on Fortnite, right? And skins and spending so much money. Come on. And we on Twitch. Yeah. You know what's crazy about oh, the metaverse? True. Like it was like we're having this kind of. We have, we've been in the we've been in the metaverse for like All fifteen of, years. Yeah, yeah, literally. Like that's how Facebook is. It's some virtual stuff. It's virtual that we pretend everybody pretending on they Instagram, pretending on Facebook. It's a fake version of you yeah. that's online that people care about. Like that blue check and everything. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. So we we already living in that. Now, take take that and be able to say when. Uh, now we've been released with new music, mm -hmm. and we're going more into TV. Um, on the twenty seventh, we got a series coming out on BET called "I Got a Story to Tell." Okay, and that's been a start. The first time I'm rolling out in the film with my man Smoot and Deshaun got me into this film star. Now then I I done got a couple connection where I can roll them out into a couple films, right? And when I take those same films, digitize them. Put them uh, a special, say, preview into the metaverse. Right. That's a whole different line of revenue that he'll be bringing in. Yeah. Like I say, the fake him will start making money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the clone. Yeah, yeah the, the clones. <laughs> the clone could be making money. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that because it's less work. That made that made me wonder, like, if you can like license your likeness, like for like a Fortnite skin and stuff like that. I believe like, if you how you can structure that. And if there's a, if they, there's a, yeah, yeah, yeah like you're doing you, it now. You're, yeah, 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 right now. Literally. You know how many concerts that went on in the metaverse yeah. that, that have sold out? And that's, that's the, the crazy thing, like, cause you know, Big I'm 40, like, so that that shit looked ridiculous to me. Uh huh. But it's real. It's real. It's see, it's it's a whole generation that is like, we know a world without the internet. They don't. They don't. So all you know, that shit is one reality. After them. Yeah. The metaverse is for the generation. It's going to be normal. After yeah, it's going to be normal. Like cartoons. Yeah. yeah. For us. Yeah, yeah. Like, man. Like, what? Jetsons, the all that shit. Like, yeah. yeah. Cartoons. Yeah. So now, nah, it's, it's, it's just, it, it's um it's a lot of potential. A lot of, definitely, I, I, I'm with, I got a quest too. Like, so I didn't been in the, I'm, I'm sitting up. I didn't yeah. send out to, um because we were looking at doing some stuff on there. Um, but so it's they, dope. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. It, bring, it bring the fun back. Video games coming back. Yeah. Like, bro, it's I almost to killed myself. So the basic. <laughs> oh, you was on the. I'm on the, on the VR. Yeah, I'm on the Quest yeah, too. Yeah, so. I mean, it's um, what is it? It's it's like it's some game. It's like um, it's a it's it's all good. <laughs> Security. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, super hot. So it's okay. like. The joint where time moves when you move. So it's like some matrix shit. Like you can slice the bullets out the air and dodge bullets and shit. Like the shit crazy. Jeez. So I'm down there, I'm playing this shit. Like you jumping out of helicopters and grabbing uh, guns mid-air. Like bam, some John Wick type yeah. shit, right? So I'm forgetting that I'm in the basement. And so the basement being cleared out. Yeah. So I didn't drew the little thing. And then I, I like, I'm crouched down behind something. I come up. And the guy right there, and I just take off. <laughs> I just took off for real, for real. For real, for real. This close to the wall. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Spit so hard. <laughs> and it's like, I just laid down for a second. But, hey, but now you see how so you were It's there, real. Right? It's it, real. Imagine, it's fun, bro. imagine you doing it, and you're at a whole concert. Yeah. Garters on. 
You gonna think it's real? Yeah, it's like it's it's like it's all fun and game, and like this ain't even really good graphics or nothing. No, this, this one, yeah. but it's so immersive because yeah. I'm hearing it, and it's like yeah. responding so close to me. Like, oh, she needs to hit me. I've been trying to catch one yeah. of the um, NBA games because you know they, so you can watch the NBA games, some of the NBA games on it too. So you like center court getting the really yeah. like. So yeah, so think about the right. kids from the grow up. Yeah, right. so think about the show get better. I'm trying to create, tell you, uh, interactive situation with kids to be. No, you had a meet and greet. Yes. Yes. Real, like, yes. Yes. I ain't got to be that shit in the bank. That's it. <laughs> and they pin. Which is no. in this meet and greet in this. Yeah, we ain't, it ain't about the world. money. Yeah, it ain't about the money with us. We just like, we like the experience, bro. Yeah. We like, you know what I'm saying? We want to get these folks experiences. Like, yeah. our business is in Trump tight. And if it ain't, somebody knows something. We got yeah. all these around this one, folks. Nah, we nah, tight. Nah. I'm definitely with that. It's amazing. We're we going to chop it up on that, too. We got, so we yeah. got some people right But now. no, like, I appreciate, definitely appreciate y'all coming For through, sure, spending some time yeah, with us. And, and honestly, time. most importantly, being open. Yes, sir. Like about the relationship and about you know the ups the downs the the maneuvering and 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 the growth yes because sir. I think that's one of the things when we get a lot of this online stuff these interviews and stuff a lot of times it just don't be authentic it be like the facade like oh this is everything is everything and then and then I be on Twitter on some whole other like because <laughs> you, you gotta be real about one thing we go understand. <laughs> Well, a lot of problems get what you expect and what you don't understand. Yeah. Like, the artists already know now, from what I've been through, and that'd be for the world, I'm not putting my money into no artist. Mm -hmm. Right? Because guess what happened here? They get lazy. Yeah. You know when to dump the money into it. You know when it's time to put the money on the table. Mm -hmm. Because... A lot of artists, they look for what you said. And that caused a lot of problems because a person may not put all this money into it and an artist quit and give up. Right. Now they looking like, you gonna stop? <laughs> what? <laughs> now you looking at an artist that's going so hard, right? Mm -hmm. And the person ain't putting the money into it, they gonna be looking like, what you doing? You gotta <laughs> have that understanding of what y'all are doing. Then they don't never run into no problems. They already know. I'm doing it when we hit the point where I'm, the money gonna be we're gonna make this happen. Mm -hmm. Or you need to go do this promo. You ain't too hot to, to go on a promo run. You gotta know, make sure you're an artist, have them understand it so it don't never hit nothing. Mm -hmm. If you getting 15,000 a show, get what? You got a new project coming in 10 cities, you need to go hit for free. Mm -hmm. The artist gotta understand, I gotta go do them. Right. Cause I gotta hit radio in this market, I gotta do this in this market. If you got an artist that don't understand that, get them out of here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that's what you're going to see on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should. Yeah. You know, because they, they don't, they ain't had any talks. They ain't got in line with how shit's supposed to go. Yeah. So when one want to do something, the other don't. But it, and, and you know, but it's, the, it's those different, the difficult conversations in the story quote, like, what is it? Um, Easy conversations create a difficult life. Difficult conversations create an easy life. Oh, hell yeah. You got to have them talk, talk. Yeah. I mean, that, but that's with anything you do in life. Yeah. So a lot of people talking about the elephant in the room. I ain't never walked in the room. No. Nope. Well, <laughs> Fuck. I mean, ain't no elephant. What? And I, I, I probably not had the biggest shit that ain't been resolved going within the music industry still lingering, right? Mm. And I still got a problem with them, but I still respect them. Right. You know, I am not respecting, but I'm, I'm grateful for what they've done on my journey, right? right? But if I walk in the room, ain't no elephant, man, what we going about this business? Right. Let's handle the fix stuff. Right. See, you can't be afraid to have a tough talk so with anything in life. Like, and, like I told him. And that's what it be. Like, people don't people don't want to have those tough talks. So then it be all the tiptoeing and it be all the, Bro, we, the food gazing industry shit and all the... And it's like you making your life unnecessarily you know, I, complicated. I, 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 had a, I, I got a homeboy, too, gay, right? Mm -hmm. Lord, Michael, when I came home, you need to do Michael. We were doing tunes, tunes every. He like, man, you need to get Michael. We need my. I said, bro, I ain't even ready to do you shit. I'm just doing this shit because everybody pulling me and want to do this and that. 
He was like, Michael, Michael, Michael. I said, man, when I get my mind together, I, I look at it, right? Let me just, boom, let me see. I ain't ready yet because I don't want to cheat no artist out of what they're doing. Right. And it just happened by the time I was ready, Michael was ready to go on his run. So the first thing out the gate, guess what we talked about? The numbers. Right. <laughs> How we gonna split that money? Right. We ain't hear no music. <laughs> <laughs> For real, he gonna trick this out the way. Yeah, Listen, I know the music gonna be good. You know what I'm trying to tell do. people? Like, we can't talk about. Listen, I don't want to deal with nobody. I can't talk about money with. Goddamn right. right. How we, we split and talk that yeah. every day though. Yeah. Yeah. Every day, every yeah. conversation was about. Right. Let's get right. an understanding of how this. Let put it in text now, so we already yeah. know this, yeah. what this, yeah. this, what this, and this. Yeah. How this? Yeah. Then how everything yeah. split? It's that would be working out at the beginning. That's what be. That's what a love be at in there. Like when you can dig in that, bro, you can be like, like, nigga, what you mean, Chino, if you did it? I already know what he's finna bring. Yeah. I know what I'm finna bring, and I know it, it got to happen. Right. So whatever he say, yeah, man, put the seatbelt on. All right, bro, this shit kind of crazy, bro. Then he'll come back and say, all right, bro, because he a good man. You get what right. I'm saying? So he going to be like, if I see my face expression or some shit, it right. look weird. But if he, he'll, he'll be starting on it, then he'll come back and he'll say, let me just figure it out. Right, just to just even more bending, even though he only want to bend. But Michael, you just look. I'm gonna figure that a little. Right, bit. and that, and that, you know, and it's like it's true, it's come back to this, like just maturity being man, but like for us, especially us, mm-hmm. trust. Yeah, my dad. Yeah. And it's like like. But you wipe do business. We do business with people we don't trust because we be because we need that money. Yeah, but you wipe away. You, true. you wipe away what I tell people. All. Docs or, or untrust or whatever you have, right? When you go into the and you handle the business, right? If we put a sell a bottle of water, right? First thing we gotta say here: how much you getting? How much I'm getting? And how much you getting? Mm-hmm. Let's hash that out off the break. Are we gonna do this thirty three and a third? Or are we gonna do this? You got fifty and me, you gonna get twenty five. Twenty five. What are we doing? Right. So it ain't no problem. So we go out there and sell it for a dollar. We already know how we breaking bread. If that bitch go for two thousand, right? We already know how we breaking yeah. bread. Like, I can't be weak. If me and you got twenty five, twenty five, that bitch said for ten thousand, he got fifty. We can't be sitting here mad now after yeah, yeah, yeah. said for ten thousand. Yeah. Right? He got five, and me and you got twenty five hundred. I'm going to do twenty five hundred. Yeah. <laughs> Come back to the boy. Because <laughs> they, they, they didn't work down the beginning. When, yeah, when you yeah. made that deal, stand on it, live on it. Yeah. They make you happy to get more endorsements, more bids. They make you get more shit. We can't, we can't fight about it after we sold it for 10000 Well, damn, Michael, you need to leak your butt. It's 4000 a piece. No, nah, yeah. it's nah, it is what it me. already is. It's 2500 2500 You got five. Let's keep it pushing. I'm at the bank. Let's sell the next one. Yeah. Let's sell the next one. Yeah, fingerprint. Have that shit from the beginning. Fingerprint. people don't. They don't trust me. Come in there. I got to trust this motherfucker to get my money. No, you don't. Work this shit out from the beginning. You already know what it is. No. Yep, fingertip on the thumb, man. It's Cash it. check. <laughs> Work it out. That's what yeah. I tell anybody. Well, Work that shit out from the jump. Yo, it. your homeboy, your brother, your mama, your sister, your whoever. Yeah. Don't get on the well, phone well, gossiping about well, it, nigga. Well, don't assume yeah. nothing. No. Don't yeah. assume nothing that no. ain't right. No. <laughs> I don't know what you said. Yeah. Work yeah. it out. Because, get what? At any given time, if y'all put something in right, Right, and if they say it ain't even illegal, say y'all ain't got no money to go get no lawyer. Yeah. y'all sensible enough to write out some shit with y'all yeah. agree on the sign, and then by the time y'all get some money to go to a lawyer, you take that paper and give it to them. It what we agreed on, so make it in the right terms to cover all yeah. of this. What they be calling? What they be calling, 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 calling that shit when you sign it and like what you call it? Like Are you talking like notary, like notarized? Yeah, like, but you talking about a poor man copy. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the music. Right? Yeah. <laughs> but it but, that, but that's it work. But you know what? It and that's work. that's it what people it people be um people like just be well, afraid right. of the you know the contracts. But yeah, like people. that's just we just agree to something. Like yeah. like, like if if you don't like I like yo, you don't want to sign no paperwork. I can't rock with you. Cause that mm-hmm. means you 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 don't like to hold your word. You don't like accountability. The only thing that's gonna be on here is our words. That's it, nigga. What you said, that's what it. I said. Yeah, yeah well, lock in and people. Yeah. Cause, Cause you don't know they might gonna do some yeah, more shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't that's know why they wanna lock in. Yeah, that's what like. Soon as like, bro, we gotta. 
Oh yeah. You're not, <laughs> you yeah, 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 yeah. We passed that goddamn yeah, yeah, trying you to figure that. Bullshit. You on some bullshit. Cause you don't know shit, bro. You, you, you yeah. like a goddamn we got a situation. I can't go in the bank. She no credit to the moon. Right. Hey yeah. bro, the deal bullshit right now. So Michael, do what I'm finna go do, bro. I'm finna go into the bank, get a get a loan. This is what we're gonna do. Michael, I'm gonna give you this for your van, for you don't nigga don't go. We ain't doing the big signing party. Nah, put that shit in your pocket, go get right, bro. Stay doing what we're doing, cause I already you know what I'm saying? Right. Boom. Then we come back, we, we, we locked in, so we come back for the bigger bank, gang. Like, right. that shit at the other time, we gotta knock that motherfucker, like, we gotta shake yeah, it. You know, gotta get to it first, then we get to it. We don't want to, cause they be on the bush. Yeah, we gotta get to and, it. And, first. and a lot of time, I, I done got to the point where, hey man, the right people, you ain't even gotta uh, uh, rush and go do the paperwork. Like I say, the legal way. Right. Cause they don't mind, like I say, signing whatever you don't put together. Until it get drafted. Right. Motherfucker who don't want to do that, don't deal with them. Pass. Be pass. Don't. Do, please don't. Your yeah, ass going to be sitting right on Twitter, like you say, going back and forth. On the podcast, talking shit. I'm at the bank. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at the bank. No. Mm. <laughs> I appreciate y'all coming through. Yeah. Definitely a dope conversation. Most definitely. Definitely, definitely. looking forward. Yeah, yeah. Um, one, one, one time, let them know where they can follow you at. Hey, what it do, man? It's the boy Michael Montana. Yes, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter. You know what I'm saying? YouTube, Michael TV. You know what I'm saying, man? Follow my Instagram. Follow my shit. NYKKL, Michael Montana, man. Let's get it. Rack is out on all major platforms. Let's go up. All right. And give them the email address where they can send you unsolicited music and beg you to manage them at. <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> yeah. My email is already crazy. So C H I N O D O L L A R C E O. Say whatever though. you want to say to the ground. I appreciate okay. y'all. This is uh, once again relationships. Making the magazine. We out. Yeah. Hey, yeah. All right. I'm gonna take a picture right here. Uh, yeah, we can get some pictures over here.